Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You know my first guest tonight from his stand-up comedy specials and his appearances on CBS Sunday Morning. He now stars in the new movie, Linoleum. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Jim Gaffigan. Oh, it's a distinct Thank pleasure so to have you here, Jim Gaffigan. Jim, Appreciate it's been it. too long. How are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's yeah. how you want, you know, when you have someone on a show, you want them to just come out and complain. <laughs> but I am tired. I'm always yeah. tired. I, uh, and I'm married to a woman who never sleeps. I don't know if you're with a non-sleeper, but... She is, uh, much more up in Adam than I am. Yeah, I mean, I, and if you're married, if you're with someone who never sleeps, if you attempt to get rest, you appear selfish. <laughs> so every night, my wife's like, oh, you're going to bed? And I'm like, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> She's like, oh, I thought you loved me. I do. <laughs> Is there something you need to tell me? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm always tired. And people think I'm hungover. Mm. I've had people like, did you tie one on last night? And I'm like, no, this is just my body trying to stay alive. <laughs> it's... I've actually become one of those guys that when I'm sitting in a chair and I go to get out of the chair, people around me are like, I don't think he's gonna be able to do it. <laughs> it's like, I have to make a plan. Like, like, if I was gonna get up right now, I'd have to be like, all right, throw that big head forward and wish for the best. <laughs> it's, it's brutal. Wow. And, you know, wow. uh, it's, it's no joke. And, you know, recently, uh, my wife was like, we need to find out why you're so tired. And I was like, I think it's you. <laughs> and so she... How'd she take that? She had me call our doctor, who's really our pediatrician, and, uh, and she's an amazing doctor. She had me do one of these at-home sleep studies where I slept with a mask on. Sure. And, and I, uh, di I dropped it off, and she called two weeks later, and she's like, Jim, we should talk through these results. I'm like, sure. She goes, well, first of all, you have to understand millions of people suffer from sleep apnea, but you're just a lazy sack. <laughs> I was like, what a relief. There's nothing wrong with me. My body is just a lemon. <laughs> you know, my fantasy is that when I die, they'll discover I had Lyme disease my entire life. <laughs> like, the medical community will gather and be like, he's the most productive Lyme diseaser ever. <laughs> Everyone, what courage. What courage, they'll right? say. Everyone okay, well, loves one of the things that make Lyme you tired, disease. kids gonna make you tired. I know you got the, you got the five kids, yeah. which is, these days, there's a lot of kids. They must wear you down. How's that uh, going? It's it's it was a mistake. <laughs> it was um, all of them, or just the last I one? I would say all of them. <laughs> no, but it's it's a lot. It's, yeah, it's it a is. Lot. Yeah. Five kids, and you know, it's not like it's not, you know. If I did anything about it now, people would get so upset. <laughs> you know, if I was like, "How old's the fetus? Seventeen years." You know what I mean? <laughs> But it's a, five kids is a lot, yeah. and um, you know my wife works so hard. She works so hard, and I try to travel as much as I can. <laughs> um, do your part. Um, you know, do your part. Yeah. But but we do. There is always help. There's a babysitter or a helper, and these people have incredible backstories. Often they've escaped from a country with oppressive regime. You know, they're usually sending money back to help a relative, and after they've worked for us for a month, they always come up and say the same thing. I quit. <laughs> and I'll ask, like, do you, do you need more money? And they're like, I'm going back to North Korea. <laughs> yeah. That, that mm -hmm. place is like a vacation compared to your family. Well, OK, how about vacations? Like, uh, you have the, the five kids. When yes. I was a kid, we would just pile everybody into the station wagon with a little mattress in the back, and off we would go playing I yeah. Spy. Are you guys a fun vacation family? Do well, you guys do it? You know, it's, I, I'm so lucky because of stand-up comedy. I've been able to take my children amazing places because I'll do a show and, and it, you, you know, it's just incredible places we've been. And, and during each of these trips, there's usually a moment where I look at my kids and I think, you know, I could just leave them here, you know? Because <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's too hard. It's too hard to travel with kids. That's why every dad... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Every dad on vacation kind of looks like he lost a bet. <laughs> Think about it. We've all been on vacation. We've seen that, like, 50-year-old guy, you know, who's just kind of confused. He's just looking around, and he's like, 
this is my vacation? <laughs> but, but I'm not having any fun, you know? It's, uh -huh. it's amazing, it's amazing. Um, y did you always want to be a comedian? I, you know, I always wanted to be a comedian and an actor, and but I just, I grew up in a small town in the Midwest. I didn't really, there was no one in the entertainment industry, and it was, yeah. I mean, the closest. How do you become that? Yeah, yeah, the closest thing was the marching band, and I didn't play an instrument, so I was, it was just very, uh, you know, it was kind of like being an astronaut. It was just a delusional idea, and so, but when I remember when I was like probably eight years old, my mom took me and my brother Joe to uh, a movie. And then afterwards, we were in the Chicken Unlimited, which I think is really a restaurant. <laughs> and she asked us, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? My brother said he wanted to be a helicopter pilot. And I said I wanted to be an actress. So. Good for you. I figured, you Good know, probably you. more comedy. Yeah. You know? We have to take a little bit of a break, but stick around. We're right back with more Mr. Jim Gaffigan, everybody. <laughs>